Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. It is January the 8th, and today's Monday market update, we are going to be talking about 2023 in review. So in Hamlin County alone, we had 651 homes that sold. The average sales price was 286,484, and the average days on the market was 50. Now, if we look at the median sales price, that was 273.9, and the median days on the market was 19. Okay, the list to sell price ratio on average was 98.4%. The median was 100%. Now, what does all that mean? Well, let's put it in perspective of the numbers from 2022. Okay, in 2022, we had 808 homes that sold here in Hamlin County. The average sales price was 277.9. The average days on the market was 49. The median sales price was 255. And the median time on the market was 31 days. So when we compare 2023 to what happened in 2022, we are down about 19 and a half percent in the number of units sold. Now, what was the reason for that? The biggest reason was the lack of inventory. We could have sold 800 homes had we had that many on the market, but it was just a very tight inventory market. People were not wanting to list their home, especially if they had a mortgage interest rate that was, you know, three and a half, four, four and a half percent. They didn't want to give up that interest rate and have to pay a higher rate when they went to buy their next home. So the number of units sold went down about 19 and a half percent from 2022 to 2023. However, there was a 3.1 percent increase in the average sales price and a 7.4 percent increase in the median sales price. So we're still seeing appreciation of home values right now. Um, which kind of goes against probably what you're hearing in the mainstream media that, you know, prices are going down and, you know, we're going to have a market crash. None of that's happening, especially here in Hamlin County. Um, we did see a decrease of 39% in the median days on the market. So in 2022, that was 31 days. And in 2023, it was 19 days. So what this tells me is the stuff that I preached to you all year long last year. If you price your home correctly, if you properly prepare it for the market, and if you use professional photos to get it marketed, you will sell your home rather quickly at your list price, and you're not going to be sitting on the market forever. Okay? So typically homes in this area are selling within three weeks. So if you're thinking about listing your home for 2024, but you're not sure what that means, reach out to me. We can certainly sit down and talk about your specific situation. Now, I did want to give you a breakdown as far as like dollar amount sales. So less than 150,000, we saw 62 homes that sold. Average days on the market was 27. Median days was eight. Between 150 and 250,000, we had 205 homes that sold. Average days on the market was 31. The median days was 13. Between 250 and 350,000, we had 257 homes that sold with an average of 69 days on the market and a median of 35. Between 350,000 and a half million dollars, we had 91 sales in Hamlin County. 50 is the average days on the market. 14 would be the median. Between half a million and 750,000, we saw 29 sales with an average of 66 days on the market, 21 days median time. Between 750,000 and a million, we saw six home sales in Hamlin County. Average days on the market and median days on the market was 32. Now, we did have $1 million plus sale in Hamlin County. That particular home was on the market for about nine months before it sold. So that kind of gives you a breakdown of where we were in 2022 versus where we ended 2023, okay? And I'm going to be doing some more updates for you as far as the year-end number goes. We're probably going to do some subdivision updates as well as zip code updates to kind of let you know what the average price is per zip code in Hamlin County. I will also be doing another video um, this week 
regarding the Lakeway area in general. How many homes were sold in Cock, Granger, Hamblin, and Jefferson County as a whole? Um, and do the breakdown for those specific counties as well. What do you want to know? What kind of information would you like to know about home sales in 2023 to help you make a decision whether you should sell your home in 2024 or stay where you're at? Are you thinking about buying? If there's something I can provide to you to help you make that decision to move forward with purchasing a home in 2024, leave me a comment. Let me know what your questions are. I'd love to answer them for you. I'll talk to you again soon.